Yep. All right. Let's. They might. Honestly, we're only halfway through this video. They might play part four. It might just be out of order. We'll see. You can hear the modulation. Oh yeah. So, pause this for a second. Okay. So, Ooh. this is a spot where Joey, Joey worked his magic with the bass drums. But, okay, I got to tell you, you heard it here first. This was the anti-bass break. In 08, when we wrote The Boxer, and that, I don't, I'm not going to say it started, all, this, all the splits. Because I remember Blue Knight's indoor drum line in maybe 2000, doing like a, some split heritage between one and two. But when we wrote the boxer nowadays, you know, everything in the bass line is insane. But you get to the unisons and it's like you just split up like 64th, you know, Ricky Tut Ruggas. And, but the unisons aren't clean. So originally this was the anti bass break. This was literally all unisons. You can hear him going, choo, 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 choo. that's all five of them doing that. Um, so it's still in there, but. We had to kind of, we had to Hollywood it a little bit. So Joey actually, you know, another stellar staff member, Joey was like, hey, I, I can write some stuff. And what he wrote and what they played like that day, he's like, we've worked on this for three hours. And they came out and I was like, it just spoke to the talent of the group. I was like, wow, that, that's amazing. So hats off to Joey. But there are some uh, anti-bass break unisons in here. <laughs> We're try, trying to move the, the the needle the other way a little bit back to the quality unisons quality unisons never go out of style they do not we're just clean in general you know we said said it with unks too it just never never gets old it's just timeless clean is forever clean yep. is the hype. forever all right let's hear this Chop to chop is like chop, so the right hand just going. Yeah, right hand's going. Top, top, top. And man, we worked on that like top, 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 that upstroke grace. Yeah, on the edge. That's what we cleaned. The left hand was going to be clean. All we mm -hmm. cleaned was that right hand. Chop, top, 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 top. Yep. Yeah. We uh. Was that was that a brickyism brickyism too? In the did he have any influence on no. that? No. No, that was all Mac Daddy. No poker hand, <laughs> no no poker hands this year. <laughs> I, I I folded I folded the hand early this year. Um, <laughs> yeah, I kind of had a, a like a thought where we wanted to go, which is like a bar band out of Boston, who's incredible. We heard their music. And there's like this gent guitar that is rising the whole time underneath this. Uh, so the interplay front to back, we had an incredible keyboard player up front. So the, the interplay front to back was really strong here. They're on that prop. And then we go into the hair to, you know, you're building tension. Other than that from angst, you know, you, you can play the same thing, but it, you continue to build on it. Like, you know, the old snare add-ons, you know, then two of them, then four of them. You're building tension. You're building tension um, and excitement and fervor and that's kind of the the what we did with the heritages here and then i could just couldn't believe how well they could cross these heritages up i mean we didn't josh had cleaned the heck out of this i had the snares the last seven days and josh came back in i had him for a week uh, we really never hit that because we never really had to but yeah so tons of tension built here into uh the re-entry which was all of the bent knee uh, material so this uh this snare line plays some of the best edge rolls and edge material that I've heard in a while. I think they probably win that award for this season. The just perlative given <laughs> the control and touch out there, just from what I saw all summer, is kind of unparall unparalleled by anybody the else. Drum lines, everybody. I mean, everybody was incredible this year. I can second that. There great. were great year for drums. So so many groups were just at the top of their game. Get a little reprise 
here. Logan Newhouse, probably one of the incredible sex player. I'll just one of the best. I uh pause just for a second, Mike. Yeah, I had the I had the pleasure of working with Logan some at Cap City. Uh well actually Logan Garrett and Wyatt and oh, really? all three cool. of them. But uh for sure Logan as well, just super humble dude that just wanted to play drums and be really good at drums. <laughs> just one of those people that's cool because they just do everything they say they're gonna do. You know what I mean? On top of just being a cool cat. Um, I think there... I remember go ahead no go ahead. No, go ahead. I meant the first time I met Garrett was uh he came up from Texas to C T J boy. Yeah. Uh, Claudia Taylor Johnson in the house. So he came up to Cap City and auditioned and like we were all masked up and stuff and he like had like one of the masks that went all the way around and I told him he looked like the albino winter soldier. <laughs> <laughs> that his was parents his parents, their flight got cancelled. Uh and oh, they drove no. all night to get there for Thursday. Dude, wow. that's incredible. Or, or fr I think it was Friday actually. Um, yeah, he just reached out, man. Like, I'm close with those guys. He just reached out, and we talked for about an hour on some, you know, just picking my brain on some rehearsal stuff. But uh, I love, you know, spurring these young guys to go out and be great. Someone's got to do it, you know? And funny story about Wyatt. Um, his first year at Cap City, he was really young. But I remember just, like, he was so nervous. Like, we would go to the show lots, and he hadn't marched like world-class anything at that point. So we're in these lots and there's like people there at the WGI Indie regional filming for like IP and stuff like that. Sure. And, uh, it was just like a whole new world. And to see him then versus like now he's just like cool, calm and collected and just like throwing it down. Yeah, man. I love that. So, what so much about. growth and just maturity and yeah, I love it. He's a cool kid, man. They were all cool. I mean, the culture, their collective vibe was was strong. Let me tell you, the staff too. We were ten strong on free day, in Pittsburgh. And, you know, <laughs> but that was a good starts, time. It, well, you know, it it starts with ten, then two get mad at each other, four splinter <laughs> off to go bowling. None of that happened. Like we rolled ten hard all day, and we probably we had twenty drum staff in all finals week. Like we were hyping. Well, wow. that's awesome. That's awesome. You, I mean, yeah. you could. I mean, the finals week, you all were so good. Like it just, it makes sense. The cohesiveness that you're talking about, just being there, it's not a we surprise. We felt like no one had more room, like to grow than us, and that that wasn't just like a you know a BS statement. I mean, literally, we had another level to unearth between quarters and finals. I mean, it was really exciting, yep. and they just kept, they just kept going better every night. Yeah, absolute tri tribute. Over through the max coming to fruition um we're just really excited about not only this year but the future for sure yeah heck yeah i was texting josh but i was like so how many are coming <laughs> he's <laughs> he's throwing out of my name so i was like uh, there you go all of them all, all of them <laughs> every single one <laughs> all right let's jump back into this video stuff action is doubles yes that was clean damn the jelly roll 
the <laughs> level <laughs> of control <laughs> to go back and forth and all those different like what are your hands are required to do so much craziness to go and play all those different speeds of doubles in and out like that. It's it they're just accelerating cannot... through a constant time, which is or day accelerating through a constant time via rhythm, which is you... layered skill sets. I've got to rewind because you can't overstate the difficulty in and what is required of the preciseness, the precise if adjustments you're... within your hands to do that well. Here, if, think... if you know what this is about, once you you know this is about the way we treat the double, slowing it down, speeding up in context, then you're like, okay, yeah, I, I see that, what yeah. they were going for there. Did I go back too far? There we go. No, you're good. No, you're good. Dude, the left just keep opening up. <laughs> there was our Mars left. All the way down. Uh, all the way down, yeah. Bass drum. I was up that roll's backside. Like Say again? The, I cleaned that for one day. No matter where we were, cold, warm, I would ask them to play that all day, in between reps, all the time. And we did that with the quads, too. Like, they're playing that break 20 times a day in front of everybody. Hey, oh eights, all right, cut, all right, quads, play your feature. Well, okay. Just getting <laughs> them to be able to do it like it was just like breathing, you know? And I will say, I was, you know, I laid on my side just because I like to do that. You know, it's a tribute <laughs> to the line. Um, it's a tribute to the line that says you, you've arrived and I trust you, right? Um, and I hadn't done it all year. And there was this perfect spot. Tim Fairbanks said he was going to come spoon with me, but he didn't. Um, <laughs> but there was this perfect spot where I laid down. And the, they were so good on Saturday. Like, I don't know, this is going to sound weird. Like, I could hear, I don't know, you felt like you could hear, like, the physiological aspects of the performers. Because I was real close and I was way down by the ground. And it was just so alive. It, it was it was great, man. I couldn't be more proud of them and the staff. <laughs> you just felt it. It hit you. I, it was yeah, like you felt like you could feel the dudes breathing. It was it was really cool. They 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 they, they like if you start a beginner class, twenty kids, you know, fourteen of them do what you say, three of them do what you really say, and then the other three like hate your guts, right? And it's really easy <laughs> to base yourself off the three that hated your guts. I'm a terrible teacher, you know, I only reached 17 kids out of 20. But I I really feel like these guys hunt, like did everything we asked them to do. And what you the want. trust was amazing. And it comes back to the culture Josh breaking his crew set up. I mean, we had the right guys in there. Uh, and I was so thankful that they vetted Zach so hard, you know, early season to come in. And now I know why. It's like you give them all a comment and they do it. That's incredible. incredible. That's what you want. That's what you want as a staff, man. It's like Bricky was always really good at doing that, building a cohesiveness. Like when I was in X, like he just made it like a, I guess a family would be yeah the best way to put it. Like he was just it, like it we're in this together and we're all working for the same thing. So that's right. Yep. La familia, junkyard yep. dogs, man. That's his that's, phrase yeah, right that's there. His phrase junkyard. That's dog. blue collar, blue collar. Bring your lunch pail to work. Yes, sir. Heck yeah.
right into the roll. those hands after those rolls to play those uh, singles. It's taking the tempo way down. Just just that gravity and that weight sinks in. You're just like... You know, I... That's an ending from 81 Vanguard that always stuck with me. I literally reached out to Ralph and let, let him know that we wanted to play a timeless ending. And could I use that? And he said, absolutely. So that, that, that's a timeless ending from 81 Vanguard that really set me on my path to drumming that I inserted into the ending of the show because I felt it was timeless. And I'm assuming you're referring to Ralph Hardiman. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Just don't, for everybody throwing it out there, but yeah, that's, that's awesome. I love, Man, I just love those callbacks. Like, it keeps the activity connected across generations. That it's like, hey, we're still doing the same thing that we were doing 20, 30 years ago. Like, maybe the gears changed a little bit. Maybe some of the uh, electronics have been implemented, but like, it's the same thing. And that's what I love about it so much. And have I don't think I'll ever lose respect because the people who are doing it, they're doing the same process that they did. 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. It might look a little different, but it's the same thing. I mean, you go back and watch that, like, Fred Sanford VHS video by Larry McCormick. I mean, dude, it's yes. literally, it's it's all the same stuff. You're listening, you're moving together, you're working as a team. You know, I mean, there's a ton of soft skills. There's a ton of life skills that are happening. Playing clean, if you can play clean, you can be in a relationship, you can broker a deal i mean you're obviously a good listener you know so those things are important those things are timeless we get a lot of people saying that they don't buy into the the, the body and the choreo and stuff and i gotta tell you what their kids are doing today is way harder than what we are doing so put up or shut up right yeah that's right i mean i even... think you i mean i think you touched on a pretty interesting concept there just the skills translate timelessly like what you ask the kids to do mentally and to have success at that level, to be able to focus for long periods of time, to devote yourself, to commit yourself to a team, to like, I got to show up for the people on my left and my right every day and be able to put in the work and we got to do this together. Like that is a skill set that stays with me for my entire life. Uh, even sure. into my career, to my job, like what I do now, like how I interact with the kids that I teach, how I interact with my family and my wife. Like it's, it's just, it's ingrained in you. It translates to everything. I mean, just the work ethic, the drive, like you said, I couldn't have said it I, better myself. I mean, that, that has not the, you know, diesel fumes, eight on a hand, taco in a bag, sunscreen. That's all this exact same, right? It's been for, you know, since before DCI. Um, when it was American Legion. So, yeah, I was. we were talking earlier, like, plug a thing we're doing at WGI Con uh, next weekend, is um, doing a clinic with Tony Lyman, Chelsea Levine, Tim Fairbanks. Basically, it's uh, private sector, don't be scared, applying That's your good. soft skills in the, in the real world. And everything that we're doing in this tribe translates now that I'm in the private sector. You know, I, I had a... I thought maybe all I could do in my life was just this, but you realize that you're, you've, you've developed the skills to really try and, you know, to set yourself up for success in the real world. So I, I couldn't have been more proud of the, the guys for listening and trusting, and this is what you get. I mean, we finally started talking about sound like the last, you know, 20 days, because that's where we were. I mean, we were a month behind and we were three weeks behind and two weeks behind and a week behind on Tuesday of finals week. And then Saturday we caught up and, uh, you know, fifth place with this insanity that was our 2022 season. I mean, you know, just speaks volumes for the guys and the staff. And not only with the insanity that you like in the hurdles, you had to jump over, but just how competitive and brutal it was at the top and the, well really one through 20 like it was just wild so <laughs> many groups had 
historic seasons. So many groups came out so much improved over what they were in 2019, the last like full season. It's just, it was incredible to watch the progression of the summer, just see everyone go from point A to point B and say how good for various groups and follow the storylines. And it was just insane how good so many drum lines were by the end of the summer. Just everybody put in the work. I think everybody was really hungry. Like last 21 season was shortened. It was kind of a drum corps season, just kind of a half season. You know, 2020 didn't happen. I think a lot of people just showed up hungry and ready to work and like put in the work leading into the season, I'm sure. And like just the products from everybody just spoke for itself. You felt like a lot of groups were actually like setting the culture for the next seven years. You know what I mean? Like yeah. a lot of people had a factory reset kind of thing, you know, because mm-hmm. you had a couple of years where, I mean, you didn't have any vets, right? I mean, what what are the Cavaliers? You know, well, I, I think they're this kind of thing. Um, you know, what right. is Blue Devils? But it was also really, you know, you had Blue Devils and kind of everybody else full core. Um, but this two, three, four, five, this six, seven, eight, Blue Stars, Cadets, um, you know, Mandarins, Phantom. I guess, gosh, Cavies like, I guess, six through ten. Um, and then, you know, Crossman and Troop and Colts, like, duking it out, mm-hmm. you know. So there's a couple, great, a couple great drum corps that didn't perform Saturday night. So for the fans, this was just incredible. It was a pleasure give, to watch the season. I'm going to give one last, like, plug, too, uh, to the WG Icon thing. Like, when is that going down and where is it? Uh, it's in... Uh, New Orleans. It's next weekend. I think we're on Sunday morning. Um, okay. A lot of um, cool clinics. And yeah, and like what you just said, like the private sector. In, I mean, I think that that's something that's super admirable to do and talk about because that's pretty much what I live and what Fantini lives is that my uh, my passion in life is music and drums and this and that, but it's certainly not my paycheck. Uh, I, sure. I do insurance, but there are ways to infuse and align those things together to where your paycheck can support your passion and then like vice versa. So it's and just, you can support your passion. You have right. time to support your passion because you're taking care of business. Right, right, yeah. right. So yep. I think it's, I think it's super awesome. I mean, I still teach high school band, uh, when I Same. can. And so it's just. I think that that's a super cool idea to integrate into those clinics, and I hope they continue to do more of that stuff just because there are a lot of people that have the skills and the knowledge to, to continue to, to stay in it, even if it's not their 9 to 5, as you might say. Well, when so. I pivoted, like, you know, it went, it became a passion again because, you know, it wasn't just solely a paycheck. Um, right. And, you know, you just, you're just thankful that you're, you're, you're able to experience this real niche kind of tribal thing drum corps wgi dci you know this we're just a bunch of nerds but you know it's it's <laughs> been much. really it's it's been really cool and you know i found something in e-commerce so you know i've worked for a software company e-commerce is very much alive and organic and moving and moving just like music so i found some parallels that inspire me uh in you know the tech side of things and it's just it's been really cool yeah it's funny t- I always relate uh, because in just small tangent here in like the insurance business, like it's all a numbers game and you fail sure. way more than you succeed. But yeah. I always just refer that to it's like, man, I I was really bad at drums for a long time until I was good at it. And yeah. I played a lot yeah. of things incorrectly before I figured out <laughs> how to play them correctly. <laughs> That's for damn sure. <laughs> I heard this. I have to read you guys this great quote and I'm going to read it because I don't want to butcher it. The game I used to have keeps getting better. I just think that is so funny. Um, I saw this thing on Elliot Spitzer. That was his his quote. But uh, the game I used to have keeps getting better. So, you know, there's a lot of us in this activity that are older. But curiosity is an absolute superpower in the second half of your life. And those are the people that are still around. Tom Hannum is still curious. Yeah. Tom Unks is still curious. Uh, Colin McNutt is curious. Paul Rennick is curious. Scott Johnson is curious. I'm curious. You know, like we're still growing. You know, I don't think I've written my best work yet. You know, I don't know. Maybe I have, but you know, you, that attitude I think goes a long way. For sure. No, for yeah. sure. Yep. Man, yeah. I, 
That was a great little epilogue there. <laughs> I don't know of a better way to end this. I don't know if we can top what we just ended that with. I mean, do you guys have anything else you want to touch? I mean, it was a pleasure watching this with you. Like, I learned a hell of a lot. I know this is probably – I watched a few videos of you all this season. I saw it live a, a t- uh, once. Once I saw it live at finals. Um, it was – like, there's still stuff that I'm picking up from this book. I want. I'm gonna go back and watch this video again when I'm not worried about like watching sound levels and like making sure everything <laughs> technically is working. To like really, there's so much nuance, and I encourage anyone watching at this point still go back and watch it. Like we're gonna link this video in the video description. Go watch it without us blabbering and pausing and stuff, and just watch it a few times. Like there's throw on some so, headphones. Throw in some headphones and with some good bass in them, and just dig into it because there's a lot of meat and potatoes and just also just some seasoning on top throughout that just you're not going to pick up on one read and i mom's lasagna yeah mom's I mean, lasagna i learned i heard stuff tonight i hadn't heard before within the book and just like some things i didn't pick up on and i would almost say that's the way it is for a lot of books but you want everything to be readable but i think having that density to it and those layers just make it like you said, timeless. Like just make people want to come back and watch this again. So I don't if, know. If anybody's judging this fall and they use that rim shot sounded like mom's lasagna on the tape and they can prove they did it, <laughs> I'll send you a free pair of sticks. Yeah. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Evan and Mike, what you guys bring to the activity is is very is much needed and and, and creates a nice thread that binds us all. So thank you. It's an honor when you guys reach out to me for to do this. I, I get as much out of this as anybody else. So I know I can tell you from our side, we certainly appreciate the work you guys are doing. Oh, thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank appreciate you, it. Sir. Appreciate it a million times over. But all right, let's wrap this up. Everybody, LoneStarProgression.com. You know the drill, social media, Facebook, Instagram. Head over to Sp- podcast services. Check out the podcast or here on YouTube. Drop a comment. Let us know what you all think about Anything we said or discussed here, we try to interact with as many of the comments as we can in the comment sections. And I, I've i got no other words. This was a blast. Thanks again, Mike. I'm sure we'll hope to see you soon. Talk soon. We'll, we'll figure something out. For sure. Peace.